people text me all the time about their great things, you know, Facebook and Instagram. I was like, I got to get this off my phone because I'm, te- it is a temptation for me. It's the way Satan come, comes at me. So I like collecting more verbs to help fight it. Like for example, as I get older, you know, seated people don't worry about their appearance. I'm constantly thinking, oh, I'm aging. You know, I need to lose more weight. I'll be happy if I'm more beautiful. Well, seated people don't worry about their appearance because they're so busy adoring the king. And I love Mm. the psalm that says those who look to him are radiant. Their faces are never covered with shame. So I use God's word as the sword of the spirit to fight that lie. Second, Mm. second thing, affluence. Seated people don't worry about affluence, the pursuit of wealth. All of my friends are making a lot of money. They're buying more homes. They're buying more this, more that. Seated people don't worry about affluence because they know they have access to all the riches of God's kingdom. I memorize verses like, you know, God is able to provide everything I need. You, at all times, having all that I need, I will abound in every good work. And then seated people don't worry about this race for achievement. I mean, I have my PhD. That that tells you I was really concerned with achievement all my life. But what if you shift from achieving to abiding to produce the good works that God has ordained for your life. This is going to look different from your neighbor, from the pastor's wife, from your sister. You have good works that aren't going to look like anyone else's, so stop comparing them. This sets me free every day, Dana. Hey, guys, you just watched a short clip of Grounded. To check out the full episode, click the link below.